Hey everyone, this is Heather with Keto Superwoman, and I am going to make everything bagel seasoning keto bagels. <laughs> and yes, this is Keto Superwoman, my apron. Um, so I'm excited today. Get to make another recipe for you all. I was so excited when I saw this recipe. Savorytooth.com through Pinterest. I found this and I tried it. I have a batch in the oven. I'm going to make you another batch. So I'm excited. So enjoy. I hope y'all been missing your bagels as much as I have because when I tried this, I was said, I found them. I found them. So I guess it's kind of like a fat head day recipe. I don't really make those. I wasn't a big fan. Because I tried them with a dessert, so I wasn't a big fan after that. And I do a lot of chaffles for a lot of my base, for like pizza and stuff, so you know. So, what we have is about one and a half cups of shredded mozzarella, a cup of almond flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, um, everything bagel seasoning. I made my own. I'll link that recipe below. And an egg. And I think that's it. So we're gonna put it together and I'll show you how to do it and what it looks like at the end. Can't wait. So I have a bowl, microwave safe because you're gonna pre-do some stuff in the microwave. You have your almond flour, super fine blanche is the better one because of the texture. And I was worried about the whole texture because I'm not a huge fan of the almond flavor flour texture. Um, I tried this with the bagel and I, I have to say, I'm super pleased and I believe you will too. So then we do our baking powder. Just mix it in together. Just mix it well. And this is where we're gonna put our ounce of cream cheese. And I don't know if I said that, cream cheese too, ounce. And then we put our mozzarella in here. So our ounce of cream cheese, our shredded mozzarella. And then we put it in the microwave to 45 second increments and then to melt it, and then we'll mix the almond flour mixture and the cheese mixture together and make a dough, and it will be really good. So um, the, the nutrition on this is the, the calories are kinda high, but it depends on what you're looking for that day. If you want a high calorie on this part, it, I mean, it's really what you're looking for, your nutrition values and things like that. Um, it's about for one bagel with the seasoning. It's 370 calories, 30 grams of total fat. Yes, those are a little high. So you tell it's up to you. Remember, follow your plan. If you have a doctor's plan, go with your doctor's plan. Um, cholesterol is 82, sodium 680. That's kind of high. If you're on a low sodium diet, be careful. Um, net carbs is six and a half. That is 10 total carbs and fiber is three and a half grams. Two grams of sugar, not too bad. Um, 19 grams of protein. As I have had weight loss surgery, I search for the high protein, low carb, not a lot of sugar items. So this actually is right up my alley. So if you are doing half a bagel, just cut everything in half in that price in those numbers. So it just kind of depends where you can do it, what you can and cannot do. So we did the 45 second at that time. It's starting to melt just a little bit. We'll do about 35 second this increment. And then we'll start mixing. So I also thought, oh, you know, we can make like pizza bake because mm, I do a lot of chapel bagels I mean chapel pizzas um, with my garlic parmesan uh, chapels which y'all it's in a link that we've had on my on my channel and yeah so I've opened a whole nother door to knowing that I like this bagel all kinds of things so my husband told me he wanted snacks so I'm trying my best to find some recipes for snacks because that was the biggest, that's his biggest downfall is he likes the snacks. Even though we don't need a snack a lot, you know, it's something unfortunately people are gonna do. So, it is melted quite a bit. Yeah, all right, so it looks like this just melted. You know, just kinda, yeah. So I'm just going to mix my melted cheese mixture with my almond flour mixture. 
this melting. Just mix it, mix it, mix it. Just mix it really well to form a dough. And I believe my other bagels are done. I'm going to show you what they look like right when they come out of the oven. And um, let you see that. They smell so good, the ones that are in the oven. I can't wait for you to see them. So, like I said, I'm just mixing this up really good. And you can store these in a, a storage container in the refrigerator for about a week um, or a resealable uh, bag. I haven't tried to store them in the freezer yet. This will probably be my first week trying. And because I made a couple batches in case we don't eat them all. And, um, yeah. So, I'm going to pull this out of the oven so you can see what they look like. And if I hadn't told you already... Uh, preheat your oven to 375 parchment yes parchment paper on your pan oh they look so good do you see that yes see how thick those are these are a little bit thicker than my very first batch so i'll let these cool and we'll try them here in a few minutes so this is the part where you put your egg in you might have to get your hands a little dirty today and just mix that in to your dough really good. It was easier for me just to use my hands, but you know, to each their own. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my hands. And this is where you actually can start putting the everything bagel seasoning in it to kind of start putting it in there about about a teaspoon in there or more depending on your preference for your seasoning and again if you want to use maybe a different or just do plain or maybe try your hand at like maybe a cinnamon bagel go ahead um, I more I like these a little bit better I'm not a fan of the sweet too much with the almond flour texture but it's still good Okay, so my dough is going to look like this. And you just separate into four even pieces. And if they're bigger or smaller than the other, it's fine. And then just roll it out like this. And you're going to just pretty much make you a circle. Like that. Set it on your parchment pan. And again, circle. These, this makes about four decent size bagels, um, depending on how small or how large you prefer your bagels. That's, you know, up to you. oil on your hands because you'll be you're putting a little olive oil out when you cook it but you can put a little olive oil on your hands to kind of help with the with the shaping okay of course your hands are a mess so I'm going to wipe my hands off real quick so we can get finished it's really a quick and easy recipe I was quite shocked of how quick this is and then um, you know just kind of so this is just some olive oil I'm just gonna Put a little bit on each of them. And then we'll put a little bit more of the Everything Bagel seasoning. And you don't have to if you don't want to. But if you're like me, you like the seasoning. And so we'll just do this. even them out yeah. all right and put them in the oven it'll look like this for about 16 minutes remember you're 375 degrees preheated set my timer because I always forget it um, 
start. I got those to all over my hands. Okay. So, shall we try? We shall try. All right. So I'm going to get me a plate. Sorry, that's kind of loud. Get me one up off of here. Oh wow, do you see it? Yes. I'm gonna try to cut this where you can see it. Well, I may not be able to work that way. So, I'm gonna cut this open. Still a little warm, but that's okay. A little bit easier to cut when it gets a little bit um, cooler. Looks inside. Do you see the steam? I don't know if you can see the steam. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, you can see a little bit there. So look at that. The texture looks good, like a bagel, I think. And let's try it. Mm-hmm. Put a little cream cheese on there. Maybe some avocado. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know if you make any other adjustments to it. I'll link everything below. See you next time. Bye.